Sobern Arboretum, a hidden jewel amid the bustling urban landscape of Baltimore City. It is a tranquil place for visitors to relax, enjoy the treasures from centuries past, and to bring family and friends together in a beautiful outdoor setting. The property that comprises Silburn Arboretum was originally developed by Jesse Tyson, a 37-year-old Quaker businessman, as a summer home. Jesse's father Isaac made his fortune mining chromium, copper, and iron at Bear Hills and Soldier's Delight in western Baltimore County. And Jesse Tyson and his brother James followed in their father's footsteps. Silburn was designed by George A. Frederick, who was also the architect for Baltimore City Hall, the Conservatory, and Mansion House in Druid Hill Park, Patterson Park, and many other well-known Baltimore buildings and monuments. The mansion was completed by 1868, and at the age of 61, Jesse met and married Edith Johns, a 19-year-old debutante considered to be one of the most beautiful women in Baltimore. Jesse Tyson died in 1906, and Edith Johns Tyson married Bruce Cotton in 1910. They lived at Silburn, redesigning and improving the gardens and woodland areas for another 32 years until Edith's death in 1942. After his wife's death, Bruce Cotton sold the property at auction, which was purchased by the city of Baltimore. For a short time, the park board lent the Silburn mansion to the Department of Public Welfare as a home for at-risk children. The children's home was relocated in 1957, and Silburn began to be developed in earnest as a nature park at that time. Silburn Mansion and most of the land were designed as a historical and architectural preservation site and were placed on the National Register in 1971. The property became Silburn Arboretum in 1982 and since then has flourished as an arboretum, a park, and an education center. Today, it continues the social legacy of Jesse and Edith Tyson with special events, concerts, and performances, as well as venues for public and private events, including corporate retreats, weddings, fundraisers, and meetings. The Mansion House is home of the Baltimore City Department of Recreation and Parks, Division of Horticulture, as well as the offices of the Sober and Arboretum Association. The first floor of the mansion is available for rental, for public, or private functions. Able to seat up to 75 guests for dinner, or accommodate 125 guests for cocktails, the mansion is rich in its Victorian architectural features of Italianate design. The plastered walls, golden wall sconces, original inlaid floors, and three different marble fireplaces, able with the grand staircase and stained glass features, make Sobern Mansion a romantic and intimate setting for weddings and parties, and the multiple rooms make perfect breakout spaces for business meetings or corporate functions. Gardens at Silburn Arboretum range from wildflower meadows, maple glades, and woodland trails, to the formal gardens, rose garden, daylily garden, and gazebo garden, just to name a few. Often, public and private events are tented in any one of Silburn's gardens. The formal garden is a beautiful and romantic location for a wedding, with multiple garden features including arbors, an open canopy, a central sundial, and the lovely ladies of Baltimore, maintaining their careful watch over lovers and garden enthusiasts alike. The gardens can accommodate up to 300 guests with ample room for tenting any catered affair. The greenhouse classroom was constructed in 2010 as a modern space for workshops, meetings, and other casual get-togethers. Silburn is host to many horticultural and environmental organizations, including the Maryland Horticultural Society, the Federated Garden Clubs of Maryland, the Baltimore Bird Club, and many others. The classroom is available for rent and is a versatile space that can be adapted for many casual functions. That I'm having this dream. The newest jewel in Silburn Crown is the Vollmer Visitor and Education Center, or the Vollmer Center for short. The new 10,000 square foot state-of-the-art green building is a public-private partnership among the Silburn Arboretum Association, the Federated Garden Clubs of Maryland, and the Horticultural Society of Maryland and Baltimore City Department of Recreation and Parks. State-of-the-art green technologies are now featured in the Vollmer Center, which was designed to be LEED certified by GWWO Architects here in Baltimore. The Vollmer Center has two green roofs, a city-exclusive composting toilet system, geothermal heating and cooling, renewable resourced acoustic ceiling tiles, and bioswale systems to manage and filter runoff. But the 250 seat auditorium is the real showstopper, with an expansive eastern window which truly brings the beauty and tranquility of the arboretum inside, like knowing the future can, the 
Auditorium was custom fit for weddings, birthdays, anniversary parties, fundraisers, and corporate galas. In addition, the auditorium has a state-of-the-art audio-visual system and panoramic screen, which lends itself perfectly for meetings, press conferences, and corporate retreats. The former center also features a bluestone patio and natural outdoor amphitheater. The Howard Peters Rowling Conservatory, a Sorbonne Arboretum sister site, is providing Baltimore with a wide variety of public parks and green spaces. The conservatory was built in 1888, designed by Sorbonne's architect George A. Frederick, and is one of very few Victorian-era glass houses left in the United States. The Rollins Conservatory underwent a major reconstruction in 2004 and is reopened featuring not just the original Palm House and Orchid Room, but three new fantastic greenhouses. The Mediterranean House, which features citrus trees, beautiful blooming perennials, and two trickling fountains. The Tropical House, with exotic plants, beautiful waterfalls, and a koi pond. And the Desert House, featuring cacti and succulents from the American Southwest. In addition, two pavilions were added for use as meeting and event space. The conservatory has hosted many garden clubs and horticultural societies, as well as its own thrice annual flower shows and the Holiday Train Garden. The Rollins Conservatory also has a formal garden adjacent to the South Pavilion with annual and perennial plantings, a rose garden, and superb sundial, a perfect location for a romantic garden wedding. The Living Bench, which is a major gathering place during the Druid Hill Park Farmer's Market, is a new feature to the exterior gardens of the conservatory. At night, the conservatory takes on an otherworldly feel, with soft lighting, twinkling fairy lights on the arbors, and the romantic wrought iron catapult balcony for lovers of all ages. The conservatory and formal gardens are available for rent for public or private events, including weddings, cocktail receptions, meetings, and corporate retreats, and has been called the most beautiful event location in all of Baltimore. Whether you are yearning for the wide expanses that Sobern Arboretum provides or the intimate greenhouse spaces of the Rollins Conservatory, Baltimore City Rec and Parks Division of Horticulture works year-round to bring you beautiful, safe, and exciting green spaces throughout the city. That's why Baltimore has been listed as a top urban destination for nature lovers by Travel Nerd, a frontline park system by City Parks Alliance, 